This is the story of how I met Aaron and how I couldn't get rid of him. Aaron came into my life when I was going through a huge transition. It was a year after my divorce and my husband had cheated on me during our marriage, which ended the relationship. I found myself within a year moving into a new home, starting a new job in a new state, and I started a weight loss journey. I had dropped 75 pounds in a year. I was discovering who I was as a person and I had joined several keto and diet forums online. Aaron was in one of those online groups. I was a regular in one particular group which had over a thousand members. He commented on my post of the week which I would post my meal prep plans and workout info. A lot of members did this. Granted, there were a thousand or so of us in the group, but a core group of people would post weekly. Aaron would always thumbs up my post for weeks and sometimes would comment, cool or great job, dear. I would always thumbs up his comment, but I never paid much attention other than noticing he wrote on it, but so did a lot of other people. One day, Aaron jumped into my messenger and said he found me to be a smart and inspirational woman. I thanked him and asked him if he's into the keto lifestyle. His profile picture was of a man who was a little bit overweight, and I assumed he was into losing weight or curious about healthy eating and lifestyle of losing weight. Aaron told me he was divorced, that his wife had cheated on him with his best friend and ran off, leaving him to raise his nine-year-old daughter named Belinda. He asked if I was married and I told him no, that my husband was a cheater and we divorced. He said he understood the betrayal and he was afraid to love again. I told him not to let one bad apple ruin his life and he asked if I had kids, which I have a son who is 18. He was still living at home and Aaron asked me if I lived alone. I told him no, my son lives with me. Aaron asked me my son's age, which I told him. Aaron then told me I need to keep my business my own and asked how much I tell my son about my life. I found that comment to be very weird, especially to say that to someone you don't know. I told him that my son and I are close and he's my sidekick. Aaron said his daughter is away at boarding school and that he works as a marine engineer and is often out of the country. He asked my job and I told him that I work as a delivery driver. My son also works for the same company as I do. Aaron asked me if I had WhatsApp or Hangouts where we could chat in private. I told him Messenger is private. And he told me that it's not because his company doesn't allow him to chat on this app and he has to chat on WhatsApp or Hangouts only as it's secure. I told him, well, you're chatting on this app now. He asked for my number and I told him, I don't give my number out to men I just met online. I told him I had to get to know him better before giving out my personal number. Aaron said okay and asked me what I was cooking for dinner. I started a conversation about keto cooking and keto lifestyle. He told me he does the same diet and when I asked him what his favorite keto meal is to prepare he told me rice and chicken. Well, I told him rice is not keto, and he said it's his dish that he eats daily. I told him that I think he's confused then about keto, but I'd be happy to show him some rice replacement recipes. He started asking my experience of being on the site, and I told him I basically post and find weight loss support in this group and have a social media to keep in touch with my family. Most of my family live back in Kentucky, so it's a way that we keep up on each other's lives. He asked me how involved my family is with my life. And I told him we're all involved in each other's lives. We keep updated through social media and that's one of the main reasons I have it. Aaron asked if I could send him a friend request. He said he tried but it failed to go through and he would be leaving for a contract in Malaysia in two days and he didn't want to lose touch with me. I told him I'd rather just chat first in Messenger. I only add people I know. And he again pushed me for my number or my email address. I told Aaron I hardly ever use my email except for paying bills online. I don't use it for anything else. 
He then asked me how I pay my bills. The entire conversation was quite odd. I told him again I use my email address only to pay my bills and register my accounts. That's it. He asked if I use Gmail. And I told him no. I told him if he wants to exchange keto and weight loss stuff, then go ahead and message me. But otherwise, I had to go. He asked me if I dated online and he was, quote, catching feelings for me. I had to laugh because we literally chatted for five minutes. I told him I'm not on here to date anyone, nor do I want to meet anybody online. He then tried to video chat me and I declined. Aaron asked why I wouldn't pick up his video chat. He tried over and over. And I told him, I don't know you. I don't want to video chat with you. He then told me that I was a scammer, that I'm fake. I told him I'm very real, but I don't want a video chat with a stranger and just to leave me alone. He stopped talking to me, and later that night, my son told me he received a message from this guy named Aaron, stating that he was dating his mother, and that he was going to be his new father, and that he will be moving here after his contract is over, along with his daughter, and that my son needed to buy his new sister a Steam gift card because it's her birthday soon. My son came to me with this and I told my son the entire situation and told him to block this crazy man. I then sent a message to Aaron telling him he is absolutely crazy and not to contact my son ever again. My son blocked him, so did I. A few days later, my sister called me asking why I was keeping such a secret from her. Now my sister and I are very close, and when I asked her what the heck she was talking about, she told me that my boyfriend Aaron had messaged her online and let her know that he had a wedding ring and he would be flying out in a month after his big contract ended and was going to marry me. I was absolutely floored. I told my sister what happened and at first she thought I was lying to her and trying to cover up not telling her about Aaron, but then she heard in my voice how upset I was and I knew that she knew I wasn't lying about the situation. My sister ended up blocking him. At this point I felt some fear as I had so many questions like who is this person? Things seemed to settle down after this incident and I told the admin of the group what had happened and she banned him from our keto group. It was nearly a month that had gone by before my other sister who lives a few hours from me sent me a message. She said she wanted to know what was going on with me. When I asked her what she meant, she told me a guy named Aaron contacted her and told her that I had cheated on him and broke his heart, and the heart of his daughter, who I had pretended to want to adopt as his daughter into our family, and he had loaned me thousands of dollars and I never paid him back, and he was asking my sister if she could pay some of the loan back on my behalf. If anyone could have seen the look on my face, it would have been priceless. This was absolutely crazy. I had to explain the entire situation to my sister and my son was in on the conversation as well because my sister at first didn't believe me. She knew I'd been struggling financially since my divorce and he was so convincing. I finally got my sister to block him and in fact we told our whole family to block him and told them about the situation at hand. Come to find out I didn't have my friends list locked down on my profile so he was just picking off family members that he could try and convince that I had scammed him. At the end of the day we blocked him completely and he never came back. At least I don't think he did. I get random friend requests from strange people and it might be him as a new profile. But this is the first time I've ever encountered a scammer who tried to work around it like this. We'd like to thank this lady for sharing her story. Scammers are different. Everyone has a different personality. They have their own little game that they play and different angles that they try to scam you. This one was different than most scam stories, but it does happen. And scammers try to target your friends and family on your friends list. They try to target people who've commented on your photos. It just goes to show you that they'll stop at nothing to try and make a quick buck. When in doubt, block and have your family and friends block the person as well. If you'd like to share your encounter you had with an online romance scammer, you can find us scamming scammers at gmail.com. Any screenshots you have or proof of a chat, 
always included in your email and we will narrate your story into a video. Until next time, stay safe and block all the scammers.